we took the signals from her brain that would normally control an arm, her arm, if she had an intact spinal cord. And we took those signals and we hooked them up to a prosthetic arm, and she was able to move that arm and, and reach out and grab a piece of food and bring it to her, to her face and eat it. But what we've done with about 25 or 30 years of research is uh, try to understand how neurons in this part of the brain are related to arm movement. And what we found was a basic relationship between the rate that these neurons fire action potentials and the direction of arm movement. And we were able to use that basic principle to develop a decoding algorithm that allowed us to interpret a subject's intention to move. The less she thinks about the individual joints, the better she does. So the more natural the movement is in her mind, the better she actually does. One of the, the next steps are we would like to do something like mount this device on the wheelchair. And suppose Jan was able to bring this home and use this to do things like open the refrigerator and, and, and get a bottle of milk out and, and pour it for herself and, and feed herself. Um, I think that's all pretty much within the uh, realm of what we'll be able to do in the near future.